Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. If this is your first time seeing my face, I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Please just do another click. Click on the subscribe button. Today I'm doing like a part two of a video, a follow up of a video I did. The video I did on 50 most influential young Cameroonian. I did that some time ago like in april this year and if you haven't watched that video i'll leave the link on there so that you can go and check it out to see what i'm talking about but let me just summarize what happened i woke up and i saw a list of 50 young most influential cameroonians and i didn't understand like i was like how did they vote what happened i was just confused so i just decided to make a video so i did a video on it and i was asking like who came up with this list how did it happen i want to know and i did that video most especially because i wanted to understand who organized the awards and how they did to nominate and vote and all that because i i saw nothing about it on social media when i did that video many people responded to me and some people came and gave me a name of one of the co-founders they were like okay can i go and contact this guy on social media we also would like to hear how he came up with this thing because we as well we don't know how it happened so just go and talk with the guy so i now went online and i talked to this guy and i was like hello i'm kenna i'm this and i want us to talk i love to interview you and the guy he was responding like he responded very well at the beginning we talked 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 we even made a day like okay we'll talk on this day and then when he came for us to do the time i was like okay when exactly are we going to do this he did not respond i waited waited like that was since april and a few days ago in is it on monday or tuesday one of those days he now comes and writes to me he came across my video and this is what he has to say about my video i've also been thinking like should i paste his message here or should i just talk about it and i finally decided like the drama is not necessary i'm just going to talk about it let me just summarize what he wrote to me he began he was like nice he thanked me like can i thank you for the video and all that so he's now like people like to criticize people like to criticize a lot about things when they wish to be on a list and then if you don't find yourself on the list you start criticizing people that were hoping to win and there's no win they come now and they start criticizing but it's okay Cameroon it's a free world it's a free world people can say whatever thing they want to say then he goes ahead to say um before you made that video can i you would have at least sat and you could have come and asked me like okay how was this thing going on and whatever 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 i was like is it not this guy that i wrote to asking him for an interview then he went on further to be like okay anyway the edition for 2018 is coming up and um, he talked about it on CRTV as in Cameroon Radio Television. It was not even on CRTV as in TV, like it's CRTV as in Cameroon Radio Television, the radio section. The first thing I told him was, okay, sir, you cannot say that I did not ask your part. I did my video, I said what I wanted to know because I was hoping that somebody would get it to you. But I was lucky enough for somebody to give me your name and I asked for an interview and you stopped responding to me what else was i supposed to do the next thing i told him was that why are we cameroonians like this why is it that each time you do something and people criticize it now becomes that oh the person is jealous the person doesn't want this the person wants to be like me the person wants to the person wants to why don't we see criticism as a good thing like why is that when they criticize you you don't look at it like okay let me see what this person has said how can i make it better why do we always have to look at it like no this person has criticized me because they are jealous of me and all that that part really set me off and i was like no you can't you can't be saying things like that the next thing i said was you know what crtv is the wrong move like you push tell me how many cameroonians like young cameroonians he says the award is from 15 to 40 year old people like how many young cameroonians actually watch crtv not to even talk of listen to crtv like how many of them a couple of people will probably listen to the news and that's it like how many people really follow it and follow their programs that you tell me that you go on you're going to crtv to talk about it so i was like you know what crtv is the wrong move we are in the social media age facebook twitter instagram if you want to get the most from the youth you would have talked about it on social media i told him this people were criticizing because they did not understand how this thing came about so if you can give information on who organized the event who nominated and how were they nominated 
what were the categories uh is it only for cameroonian based youth or those in the diaspora are also included and then i also said who voted and how did they vote because i did not know he now responded to me again and he was like i don't even know what i'm saying because all those people who went on social media and were black bashing that list are people who came behind and were begging him for a position on that list and i'm like seriously so you want to say all young cameroonians that were talking about that list all of us we wanted to be on that list <laughs> oh my god it was so funny anyway i just thought that that was a personal attack like i feel that he must have opened my profile my facebook and then he saw that I was a youtuber he saw that i'm a journalist and he's probably like this girl wanted to be on that list so let me pepper her <laughs> i don't know what i'm being too negative but that's just how i felt like maybe he's indirectly telling me that you are only talking about that list because you wish you were on that list if you were on that list i'm not sure you'd be talking you can't tell me that everybody that slammed that list wanted to be on that list it doesn't make any sense like at all and all the questions i asked him the questions i just listed that I asked him he told me that this thing has been going on since 2015 and they have been answering those questions since 2015 i'm like okay so you're trying to say that since you have been answering the questions since 2015 you're not going to continue answering the questions i just told him that as long as you're doing something in the public eye it's not everybody that saw those your past interviews that you have done on the crtvs and all the, all what not like it's not everybody that has seen that and when you're doing certain things you just have to be ready to be answering the same questions over and over so guys this is what i got on that on the 50 most influential young cameroonians i was really disappointed because i did not first of all i did not even see what i said in the other video that was wrong like i was just asking questions so i did not understand now why somebody come and be telling me that cameroonians criticize let them keep talking is helping their business or whatever thing that he was saying there like i was really disappointed because i just believe that when you are doing certain things you have to be ready for questions and no matter how many times those same questions come you have to answer them and answer them nicely and politely you don't have to be defensive when they're criticizing you like <laughs> have you people ever had quick quit oh my god the number of things that people tell me that about about these videos that i do you guys will not even understand but i don't sit now and i'm defending and defending even if you talk and i defend I go and sit later on and I try to see what I can do. So sometimes even if they are criticizing you, you just have to listen, like listen, it's not going to kill you. You just listen and you, if you want to take what they said, fine. If you don't want to take what they said, it's okay. So guys, that is how it went down. Six months later, I'm bringing to you the part two of this video. I told you guys I was going to ask questions. I asked questions and these are the answers I got. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have subscribed. Love you. Bye.